Hey everyone, I'm Richard, and as promised, here's our second look at Ashes of the Singularity's remarkable DirectX 12 support. This time, we're going to be concentrating on multi-GPU features, and it's really exciting stuff. We all know the current limitations of SLI and Crossfire. You need two cards of the same type working together. DirectX 12 changes that, and Ashes of the Singularity is the first game that really puts this enhanced functionality through its paces. So in theory, you can mix and match any card you like. So Fury X, 980 Ti, Titan X, anything you want, no problem. The wealth of potential combinations here is quite mouthwatering, and we tested a big bunch of them and have got some great results to share with you. And we'll kick off with the most powerful combination we could muster. That would be two AMD R9 Fury X's running together in parallel. We get a 52 FPS minimum here, but an 86 FPS average. Great stuff. And as you can see, as we bring in two GTX 980 Ti's, yup, AMD really does dominate here. The lowest frame rate with Nvidia is 30 FPS with a 74 FPS average. In short, AMD is 16% ahead here. But what happens if you run, say, a Fury X and a 980 Ti together? Interesting stuff, actually. So let's overlay that onto the graph and see what we can see. Well, the lowest recorded frame rate is still in the same ballpark area as the two Fury X's, and the average drops to 80 FPS. But what happens when we reverse the positions and put the 980 Ti in pole position as the prime GPU with the Fury X as the backup? Now, as expected, there's a big drop off. The minimum frame rate drops from 52 FPS down to 28 and the average overall is slashed by 14%, bringing us down to 70 FPS. So yeah, if you're gonna do this, put that AMD card at point. Next up, I thought about more realistic gaming scenarios. I kept the overclocked 6700K and instead paired the Fury X with an R9 390. So my thought here, let's say you own the 390 and you're looking to upgrade. Why bin off the old GPU if you can actually use them together? So first up, let's see how one Fury X looks at our 1080p crazy setting. Right, so we're getting pretty much a 53 FPS average across the run of play. Now we're going to add in the two Fury X's we saw earlier with that 86 FPS average. And now let's factor in the Fury X paired with the 390. There's a 68 FPS average here, a midpoint between the two. Pretty remarkable stuff, this technology is actually working. But my feeling here is that CPU may well be the bottleneck. So we did some more testing with less capable cards. So here's the R9 390 and its arch nemesis, the GTX 970, running on the extreme setting, again with no MSAA. Each GPU tested on its own and then tested again together. Solus, AMD takes point with a commanding 26% lead. However, once we compare the multi-GPU setups, that drops down to around 10% with the R9 390 acting as the lead card versus GTX 970 in the same role. But doubtless, if we had two 390s, we'd see a much bigger score overall. Dropping the settings down to standard, again, no MSAA, it's no surprise to see AMD's R9 380 offering up a 24% advantage over the GTX 960 in single GPU mode. Combining them though, we see only a small advantage with the R9 380 at point, just 2 FPS faster overall. However, lowest recorded frame rate is a good 12 FPS faster than running 960 as the lead processor. Oh, and another interesting fact here, the 380 has 4 gigs of VRAM while the 960 only has 2. So yeah, cards with differing levels of VRAM seem to work out okay too. Overall then, absolutely fascinating stuff. DirectX 12 multi-GPU support looks like a genuine game changer, but it is gonna need significant buy-in from developers to get it working. And right now, only Ashes of the Singularity offers up an actual finished game with this functionality in place. And even then, there's the sense that only the surface has been scratched here. But anyway, that's all I've got for you right now. Please do like and subscribe to support what we do here at Digital Foundry. And in the meantime, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.